You know in a few years these boys will be very important. You got quite a posh name. Miles, are you? Posh. The Riot Club. The Riot Club. Hundreds of years of the best and the brightest. Over here we have a portrait of. So you can't go through there. Oh, Lauren, I'm so sorry. Not just offering you a club. I'm offering you a future. It's our time, gentlemen. We're at the top university in the world, and so are 20,000 other people. But there are no more than 10 in the Riot Club. Are you sure you want to be in this thing? These people are not your friends. They don't know when to stop. It's time for you to leave. Whoops. <laughs> I need your help. Ambulance, please. Something's happened. Could have just been a mistake. People like us don't make mistakes. I am sick to death of poor people! I didn't do this. Right. It's the club, right? We all did this. I was born in a country where anything was possible. We celebrated simple freedoms to live and to love. Marry me. But there have always been those who would try to take our freedom. Ukraine must be taught to bow to our will. Without its vast harvest of grain, Russia cannot exist. Take all their food. This would mean the death of millions. Who in the world will know? Coming! Bolsheviks! land all belong to the state i have seen people left to die this is not a famine this is starvation i must fight for my country resistance is strong and spreading close the borders keep them in we must save ourselves or die know that i'll always be yours I will make it home to you. How many lives is this war worth? If I can save one life, that's enough for me. We must continue the resistance. Freedom! Freedom! To Ukraine! Having someone to live for gives me courage. We will be together again. I believe my grandfather was murdered. I believe the killer may still be in the house. Are you Sophia's sleuth? That's the idea. We're a very odd family. They bring out all the evil. What are murderers like? You and me, everyone. Hot-blooded. Cold-blooded. They do share one or two traits. Vanity, distorted morality, a lack of empathy. And murderers tend to feel that they are above the rules that govern ordinary mortals.
That description fits every member of this family. Next time I introduce you, try a little eye contact. And next time, don't refer to me as your son, the half-baked writer. You shouldn't leave my approval to write. Everyone needs approval, Joe. Hello? Am I speaking to Mr. Gosselman? I'd like my wife to get on the extension. Hello, I'm on. It is my great honor to tell you, Mr. Gosselman, that you have been chosen to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Tell me this isn't some great big fat joke. It's all real, darling. <laughs> Breathe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Welcome to Stockholm. We are so delighted to have you here. I came across some of your stories in the college journal, beautifully written. Joe had a very heavy hand as a teacher. Did he encourage you to keep writing? A writer writes because he has something personal to say. You write with intelligence, but you're detached. The characters are supposed to be detached, especially the mother. My wife doesn't write, thank God. Otherwise, I'd suffer permanent writer's lock. <laughs> Don't ever think that you can get their approval. Who's? The men. The ones who decide who gets to be taken seriously. A writer has to write. A writer has to be read, honey. I am aware of Joe's various indiscretions. His affairs have nothing to do with you. That's a deep-seated fear of inadequacy. Don't paint me as a victim. I am much more interesting than that. Don't walk away from me, diamond! I can't do it anymore. I can't take it. I can't take the humiliation. What are we doing? John, we're not bad people. I think you are sick and tired of Joe Castleman. I would like to convey to you the warm congratulations of the Swedish Academy. You have reinvented the very nature of storytelling. Tell me about yourself. Do you have an occupation? I do. And what is that? I am a kingmaker. Your son, the lawyer, how is he? Some letters I found in my sister's belongings. I need advice from someone I can trust. Can't you just help me on the side? There is no on the side. This is a full-time job. Oh, how can you see out of those glasses? Filthy. Here she is. My aunt, Adela. Painted by Gustav Klimt. That's quite a painting. She was taken off the walls of our home by the Nazis. And since then, she's been hanging in the Belvedere Gallery in Vienna. And now you'd like to be reunited. Wouldn't that be lovely? And then there's justice. You really think a painting that ends up as a fridge magnet will ever leave Austria? It'd be a mistake not to take a look. Could you drive a little faster? We're gonna be there four hours early. But I want to buy perfume and cognac in duty-free. I never thought I'd come back. That's our home. On my wedding night, half of Vienna was here. Mrs. Oldman, welcome to Vienna. They're going to put as many obstacles in your way as possible. We were gonna try and find a copy of your aunt's will. I could have searched for the file on my own, you know. I wasn't going to miss all the fun. This is like a James Bond film, and you're Sean Connery. The painting belongs to Mrs. Allman's family. She is the Mona Lisa of Austria. We will fight you till the end for something we believe is ours. They destroyed my family. They killed my friends. And they forced me to abandon the people and the places that I love. I won't let them humiliate me again. Here to file a lawsuit. We're taking the Austrian government to court. Have a nice day. There's no way you're gonna win. We didn't come here to eat cake. All along you have thwarted me and closed the doors in my face. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment in history. Once the past has been put to right, we will not have come here in vain. People see a masterpiece by one of Austria's finest artists. But I see a picture of my aunt, a woman who used to talk to me about life. We should be reunited with what is rightfully ours. Andy, can't you drive a little faster? Look, the chocolate on your donut is melting.